And frankly, it's just teaching them the first, second, third, and fourth dimension. Uh, values, color, shapes, textures, vanishing points, tension points. And how does one work with the other? Uh, what, is the, what is the first dimension? A dot moving in space that makes a line. Is the line curvy? Is it hairy? Is it smooth? Is it made out of chrome? What is it? You know, second dimension is that line moving in space which gives you a plane. And what kind of a plane is it? You know, what kind of a shape is it? Shape's always by that. What kind of a color is it? What kind of a te what's the texture? And the third dimension, of course, is that a plane moving in space gives you a cube. And that's got a depth, it can be 100 miles deep. No, it can't, it's a piece of paper. You know? Well, how do you do that? How do you make it look like that? And, and the fourth dimension, of course, is how do you, how do you get movement to your, to your work? Uh, a cartoon will have a little guy running, he has little marks behind him. That works, you know? Um, but how do you do that when you're doing a piece of artwork? There's a lot of the stuff going on. The texture, what is that? How about the vanishing points? How about tension points? Then how about the, the passion in, in the, you have to bring that to it as, as an artist. Um, you know, what, what is how about, how do you, how do you paint, bang! You know, how do you paint a beautiful, quiet, sunny morning in the country? How about a beautiful girl? How about a double ugly guy, you know? Everything is different, it drives the shapes, the size, what kind of shapes, there's negative shape, positive shapes. And you've got to keep all that going, there's colors, and, Black is you know, pretty, pretty serious. You know, uh, white with a little lavender in it, that's kind of a little female. And so the, all these things, you, you have to get kind of going into what's going on.